What's going on, everybody? My name is Henok. I am a system administrator based in Boston, Massachusetts. I always get asked the question, what do I typically work on day to day as a system administrator? And it's always hard to answer this question and make a video about it. Not only does my work differ week to week or day to day, but I also can't really show you my work screen. And I don't know how valuable a video like that would be. Nonetheless, in this video, I wanted to try to do so uh, and show you what a typical workday from home might look like. Obviously, no day starts without a coffee. I normally start my workday, especially if I'm working from home around 9 a.m. Uh, and the first thing I'll do is always check my emails, my tickets, and any um, direct messages on our IM. Uh, today, there wasn't much to respond to. Uh, I had a couple of emails I think I responded to. There are a few tickets from yesterday that I needed to follow up on, but nothing too crazy. Also, normally do check our uh, monitoring tool, which is Zabbix, but today I must have forgotten. Uh, the first ticket that I started working on was uh, an extension from uh, yesterday, actually. A ticket came in for somebody requesting a partition on our storage server, and I had given that person uh, a partition and run um, some Puppet code to update across all our environment. And the person had responded saying that their directory was not visible on some of those servers that they were logging into. At first, I thought I did something wrong, but uh, later on, I found out that quite a bit of our servers weren't getting our Puppet updates. Uh, but as it turns out, one of my colleagues actually had a separate issue that they were looking at and the change they made on, on our Puppet environment seemed to have fixed that issue. and. Luckily, I didn't have to spend too much time on it. So again, if you're if you're curious about things like this, um, you know, Linux is what you need to learn. Puppet is the configuration management tool. Um, so Puppet or learning Ansible is a good thing. And, you know, and Git is also necessary um, if you're going to host your Puppet code somewhere. Then I worked on a few other tickets. So uh, one of the tickets uh, is related to our Jira ticketing system. So if you've seen any of my videos that you know, I'm also part of the team that uh, supports our Jira, Confluence and Bitbucket instance. Almost every day we get requests to create, you know, new Confluence spaces, new Jira projects, uh, things like that. And sometimes we have to work on customized you know, workflows. Uh, and with that comes uh, automated actions and automated things that need to happen to tickets based on the type of workflow we decided. So on our new hire um, workflow, it has its own ticket type and stuff like that. I need to find a way to close one of those tickets based on a specific action that happens to a different ticket. I had, I had made some changes and had one of my colleagues comment on the ticket and I was reading this ticket and trying to figure out um, what I needed to uh, to do. That was one of the tickets. Another one was to create a confluence space for uh, a specific group within the company. Uh, that's usually easy. It's just knowing what are the settings to like click on to create the space and knowing like how the permissions and stuff work so that we give the right people the right access. Uh, I, I also had another ticket for a Jira Confluence and the bucket uh, creation. And then what took up most of my day, I uh, was working on at a ticket to move task within an Ansible role to a different role. One of our roles uh, just kind of pushed down a repo, but one of my colleagues wanted to move to a separate role that makes more sense to have it under. I was working on moving the task. Uh, and obviously when you make, uh, when I move that task, I need to make sure that that specific role that I'm moving to still works and the role I'm moving it out of also still works. And there's some dependencies and, uh, and variables that I didn't know. So I had to like do a little digging. But yeah. So in this case, you know, knowing a little bit of Ansible, Git, uh, Linux, and I guess a little bit of YAML as well was good. So around noontime, uh, I decided to take a break. I came 
back, I kept working on the Ansible ticket. Uh, one of my colleagues had commented on my pull request. They had mentioned that, you know, if I'm, if I was removing the task from the existing uh, repo that I need to change some variables and they were right. So uh, I had to do a bit of research just to figure out how like variables were declared and what each variable did. Um, again, still, uh, still kind of new to this stuff. So I'm you know, learning on the job, but yeah, so eventually I think I got it. Uh, I was able to test and, uh, make another commit. Uh, after that, uh, again, I worked on a couple of smaller tickets. Um, one was to, uh, add a user to a specific confluence space. Um, again, that was just like a few minutes of work, uh, trying to figuring out what active directory group had access to that and then adding that person to that group. Um, and then I had another ticket where somebody was having uh, issue with the, they accidentally moved a folder on one of our windows file systems. Um, so I moved it back for them, but then that created some permission issues. Uh, so I had to go and like figure out whether there was some inheritance that was happening. It kind of didn't look like it. So I just ended up asking them what permissions they wanted on that and made the change accordingly. Yeah, and that was it for the day uh, around four o'clock. Um, I decided to call a day. Um, I'm actually ending the day early just because today's a Friday and had worked a couple of hours um, extra in the past week. So so I, I decided to cut the day short. If you found value in this video, please give it a like and make sure to subscribe. And until next video, see ya.